Hello everyone and welcome to my playthrough of Unity of Command 2 Blitzkrieg. Uh, as it says here, it's March 15th, 1939, in violation of the Munich Agreement, German troops occupy Czechoslovakia. March 22nd, Lithuania cedes its territory, the British and French abandon their policy of appeasement and they guarantee Polish independence. So, crazy times. Then Germany withdraws from its non-aggression pact. In August 25th, Germany and the Soviet Union signed the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, which is probably not expected by anyone except the Russians and the Germans. At this point, war seems inevitable. It is, and that's why we're playing this game. On the 30th of August, the Polish government orders full mobilization. And then on September the 1st, 1939, German forces cross the Polish border. World War II begins. This game is a simulation of that incursion. So, in this game, you have control of, well, in this particular campaign, you have control of German forces. You have HQs, as you can see here. You'll be given actual units to command, and your oh, the whole point of this game is to capture objectives according to the particular scenario in each of the campaigns. So at the start of the game, you have uh, prestige, currently at 250. You get cards. I'm playing this on normal difficulty, so you get one card free. The rest of them you have to pay for with prestige. You can see there that it costs 40 points, 25 points, 20 and 75. That'd be a really useful card. But I'm not going to buy it because it's too expensive. What I want to do at the very start of the game is spend my money on beefing up my HQs. So I'm going to bump up their range, give them some intel, give them decent operation levels, and that's all I can really spend on this guy and I'll do the same for this guy and that's it that's all my prestige spent so I'm going into this game with naval bombardment which is good and beefed up HQs and as it says here, you are hereby designated as the Supreme Axis Commander. You will lead the Wormacht in a series of audacious attacks spanning the European continent. Take the fight to the Western Allies, crush their armies and secure the resources we need across Western Europe, Scandinavia and the Balkans. Germany must avoid a lengthy two-front war at all costs. Finish this war before the Russian bear awakes. So this is it. It's basically the... What this campaign covers is Blitzkrieg, so from the Polish campaign over to France, you have alternate options of going into Sweden, uh, you've got the Norway invasions, and you also have the alternative of attacking Britain as well. So let's end this conference and start the first scenario. Here we are, the Danzig Corridor. 0444 on the 1st of September 1939, the obsolete German battleship Schleswig Holsten trained its guns on Polish positions in Westerplatz. One minute later, it fired the opening shots of what would become the bloodiest war in human history. Outnumbered, outgunned, and only partially mobilized, the Polish defenders brace as the War Act is unleashed upon them. So we have eight turns, and we're using HGB. So let's start the scenario. Just wait while it loads. It generally takes a while to load. But the, what you have to keep in mind with this game is your supply. So you, main your, your, you maintain your supply and you deny it to your enemies and that's how you win. Also getting experience for your troops and keeping them in good shape is very important for this game as well. Okay, so now we have the scenario here. Let's have a look at the scenario briefing. Your orders are to cut off and occupy the so-called Polish corridor. corridor. You outnumber the thinly spread Polish forces in the area, but be mindful of your western supply line, which is over here. 
See this guy, this is your main supply line. If these poles come across, it's going to slow you down, so don't let that happen. So the Luftwaffe and Kriegsmarine assets at your disposal should aid your efforts greatly. Finally, time is of the essence as OKW plans to divert your mobile divisions east in support of our northern push of Warsaw. Okay, let's continue. So here's our Luftwaffe. We have one air attack. We also have one naval bombardment. And guess where we're going to use that? Just up here. Now at this stage, I have no prestige to spend because I spent it all on upgrading my HQs. Now, I couldn't spend prestige on these guys because they're not within command range of my HQ, which is here. So as you can see, all these units are under the command of HGB. Also all of these units and they're out of command radius. So what I need to do is get this guy over here so that he can also command these guys and aid in the attack on this place and this place. I'm not going to say the name of it because I'd only butcher it, okay? I'm assuming that's Turan. Okay, so with that done, let's have a look at our reinforcements on turn two. We get the 208th Infantry Division. It's a strong unit and that go, comes in down here. Then on turn three, we get the 73rd Infantry Division. And he's coming in here or here. So you can see it's important for us to take this place early so that we can get our units up near the fighting. Now as well, notice that this guy, sorry, this guy is gonna be with us for three plus turns. So we need to beef him up and keep him strong, okay? Uh, we've also got the 20th ID Infantry Division motorized, so he's with us for three plus turns. Second motorized Infantry Division is with us for three plus turns, and so is the third Panzer Division. So we need to keep these guys strong and get them experience. You can see here, here's another three plus, just one more turn. He's not with us at all, so we can use and abuse him as we wish. This guy's with us for two, two more turns. This guy's only one turn, two more turns. Not at all. Not at all. Group made him also not with this next game. Two more turns and not at all. So that'll help determine how we use the units. It does in my mind anyway. So uh, we can lay down some supply. What I might do is take this guy out of here and move him up closer. Oh, hang on. No, we'll leave it where it is. And do you know what? I'm going to keep that for later so that I can position it more appropriately okay because at the moment i have everyone in supply so that's good okay let's go so here we are first turn so what i want to do is move this guy down to here into schneidmull so move this guy forward, move this guy forward, move this guy down in here. So that's my supply safe and sound from this incursion. Okay. Now let's have a look. He would do two damage. So let's move him around. Hmm. How do I want to do this so that he can't retreat? So I'll push this guy forward. Like so. How can I best move these guys? 
push him here. Okay, so we have more units there. Bring this guy. Hang on. I'm gonna move over this side. There's less to think about here. So he's gonna hopefully force him to retreat. Nope. Okay, so we have a start here. Okay, so we now have elite replacements, which is not a good thing because we have no prestige. So I won't be choosing that just yet. Now what we might do here as well is go for full out attack on Danzig. Go boom. Oh no. So as you can see there, we have a 70% chance of him retreating. Um, and he'll lose one step, I'll lose one step. Hopefully it'll work. Yes! Danzig is now under the control of the German Reich. So I can move this guy forward. He's no experience though. So let's see, we can take this guy out now. Okay, that's okay. So if we bring this guy up here, this guy over here, now they should be still in supply, they are, and we're getting very close to closing off this area. So, um, let me see, if I move this guy over here, he'll cut off the supply for those guys. Let's see what their supply looks like. So as you can see, they have no supply depots, so the only thing that's keeping all these guys in supply is this and this rail line. So the sooner I cut that off the better. So I should probably move him in here. Now let's see how that looks. They're all out of supply. It does mean I'll probably lose that place, but that's okay. So, now it's down to this. So now he's cut off. Okay, get him ready for the next round. And where did I go? This guy. Uh, 
Okay, that's not a bad turn one, so let's move on. Let's see what the poles do to me. Okay, that's fairly interesting. They were fairly tame. So... If I was now to do a set piece attack on this guy, this is what makes this great game great as well. Um, that's a normal attack, right? But then if you can scroll through all your various options. So as you can see, I could do an artillery barrage, which is suppressive fire. Uh, it shows you there, this, I'm probably not gonna do any damage. Uh, your set piece attack. Uh, basically, I'm going to reduce the entrenchments and I'm also going to uh, suppress one of their units, so I'll go with that. Breached and suppressed. Now, let's see. Is there anyone? Let's see if I can move him with a bit of artillery. Oh, yes, three suppressed. Is there anyone that I can use? Bang, watch this. Boom. No. I'll move my infantry in here. And I'll move my motorized over here. Move my other motorized up here. And now I'll be able to exploit with this guy. So I have no air left to look at, so let me see. What I might do now is head in here, like so. Mm, okay. Uh, and apply this guy. Bring him up here. could have taken that supply point if I'd have managed my march properly but I didn't so that's another thing it's important to do uh, keep things properly arranged Come, but we're still okay. I wonder if I just put my supply point in here. Now, wait a minute. Now don't forget I also have a card so I could use my naval bombardment just to make sure I get Gidnia. Uh, I have until turn 5 to take that so I think I'll leave it for the moment. Uh, Turan needs to be taken by turn 5 as well. It's this Tuklia Forest I need to really concentrate on uh, because I'm running out of time. So... Uh, but what I will do for the moment is bring my panzers forward, bring this guy down here, I think it would be the best way to go. Give this guy a bump. It was a decent attack.
Now I've linked up these. Let's see where I might look at that. Excellent. So now I'll bring this guy down over here. Just to cover my flank. Now he's sticking around so I don't want him to be hurt too badly. And... That's about it, is it? No. What I want to do is link up these guys. Oh no. So at least next turn I'll be able to link these guys up and Turan should be mine. Okay. So let's move along. Trucks available. So let me see who's out of supply. Hmm. Let me stick this guy in here. Where should I put him in here? Can I just put him in there? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll stick with that for the moment. Let me see. This guy's not really covering anyone anymore, so... down like so and I think we're good right so what I need to do now I can just take this supply and now he's supplied and I shall move him down here like so now I want to get him in command range so I should move this guy over here and this guy down here and now he's in command range excellent move him over here he won't be able to cross that river because it's too wide, so I'm good there. So now I can pummel this guy with another... Yes! Another good attack. Now let's see... How's this guy? We could use suppressive fire here. Excellent, now he's leveled up so he should be attacking better. Ah. Oh man, come on. So he should be able to get more experience out of this one, so... Okay, so it's turn three and we have until turn four to take this Tukla forest, so we're good. What about Gideon? He is out of range, so let's see. Air attack this guy. So, a good chance he'll retreat, but he won't. <sighs> Man, come on.
Right, okay, that's they're not the best attacks in the world. I need to get him within range of this guy. Or else just rely on air attacks. This is my next objective. I betcha he's just gonna move people in here from over there, but we'll wait and see. This is quite painful. Wonder how am I supply wise there? Uh, it looks like I'm pretty good. So those two guys are our supplies, so I can just withdraw them later. Uh, this guy's supplies. Ah! Okay, I'll just withdraw them uh, at a later point. So what I should do really is move this guy over here. Alright, do you know what? I can just leave him there. And this guy. At least he can fire loads of artillery at them and get experience that way. Um, okay, there's nothing more I can do really. Uh, I can take out these. Lovely, loads of prisoners. So... Okay, it's getting, um... Now once I take this, he should then be in range and I should be good to go after Gidnia. And Turon looks like is mine anyway, so we're going well. Now I'll deploy 73rd Infantry Division. I can even take this. And he's already in supply. So, let's go. Okay, let's see who's out of supply at the moment. Pump this guy up again. Yep, okay, that'll have to do. Okay. It seems like a fairly pointless exercise, so what I'll do here... You should go bang, city in ruins. And that's normally a bad thing because it makes it a lot harder to take, but he had to retreat. So, looks like I can take it anyway. So I want this guy to get more experience, so I'm going to get him up there, get him to blow him up. Yes. And let him take Toron as well. Now, this is where my motorized infantry division should have a nice bit of experience. There we go. Now, let's hit this guy with everything we've got. So, ooh, that's nice. I think I'll actually go for the free option because I'll get a set piece attack for just one command point instead of a two. So that's worth it, I think. Rather than spending the 50 on getting, yeah, I think that's the proper thing to do. Okay. And it's free so that is it ladies and gentlemen I'll just move these guys along so that they won't be getting out of supply bring them back behind the river 
and that is the very first scenario successfully completed. Now, I did lose some units along the way but nothing major and I took all of the victory conditions and the bonus objectives in on time. So I'll end the turn here and see what the polls do in reply uh, but it should be all good. Yeah that's okay, it was to be expected. Objectives completed. You are victorious. All primary objectives have been completed and there are no more bonus objectives left. You can end the scenario now. You may also continue for a few more turns if you want, which is optional. Now what I could do... I'm going to continue on for the moment uh, just to get some more experience and also to rearrange my troops what I can do is I can take this away from this guy right because he's gone anyway and I could feed it into one of my other units that are going to be around later uh, let me see this guy's the same he's gone so I'll take this off of him He's staying, isn't he? Yeah, for two more turns. So that is that. I can hit this guy. Okay. Just want to continue again so what I can do is I shall give him one of the artillery pieces and one of my three plus thirty second I'll give him the piece as well. Throw some artillery in here. like we're all G really. I can just play silly buggers with this guy. But that should be it. There's nothing really left to do now so I'll just end the scenario with uh, a, spare, a turn to spare. Okay. Well that's it. Primary objectives taken on time. Uh, got 223 score. Enemy units killed 7. Prisoners taken 12. And I took quite high losses myself. Lost 4 infantry and 1 special unit. Um, but look I've managed to save some artillery pieces for next turn. And uh, I think that all went pretty well. So congratulations. So now I shall leave it there and um, we'll see you for the next recording.